Hello everyone, Steve here with an update on the motor controller for what I call my silent desk clock. And the original design uses a small custom circuit board and an Arduino Nano to drive a NEMA 17 stepper motor. And it runs relatively quiet, but I thought there was a few things that could be done better. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to make it quieter, more accurate, I uh, also wanted to avoid using this custom circuit board and also wanted to avoid the hard to find stepper motors that were required in this clock. And at the same time, if the clock could avoid the calibration routine, that would make it even better. So this new driver board achieves all of those goals. Uh, the, the secret is what's called uh, CNC Shield V4. This board is designed to drive an engraving machine with three stepper motors. So there are ports for three stepper motor driver chips and Arduino Nano. The clock only needs one stepper driver port. So there's one unused port and the third one is hacked into using a real time clock to make this driver even more accurate. The real secret to making this work is replacing the, what is it, A4998 with a TMC2208. These 2208s have a lot of advantages. For one, they are super smooth. Uh, the, the second thing is they can be configured to run using five volts. So this driver is being driven straight off of the, the USB power cable. All of these parts I ordered on Amazon. I have them in just a few days. No extra delays, no extra customs. Um, easy to acquire parts. There's a few wiring changes that need to be made for this board to work. The first edit is a wire right here to short these three jumpers to VCC the TMC2208 has pull-down resistors for the configuration jumpers and this board, the default, this side of the jumpers is to VSS so they don't do any good. What we have to do is remove the jumpers underneath the 2208 and then short the output of the jumpers to VCC, which is right here. The, net, the second edit is to let the TMC2208 run on 5 volts, run a jumper wire over here. This is the motor supply, and this has just been connected to VCC right here. So that allows this board to run on 5 volts. Therefore, we would remove the jumper here and basically eliminate the possibility of powering this board using this big power plug. Instead, it will be powered by the Arduino Nano 5 volt supply. The next edit is to bring this serial port connection down to an unused motor header. This is a four pin header and a five pin real time clock. I'm using the one with a five pin socket and what looks like either a capacitor or a battery, uh, what, that is, what that will allow it to do is to plug in to one of the four pin headers that are connected to an unused motor driver you know, socket. Right here, there is a small jumper wire that connects this fifth ground pin on the, the real time clock over to this unused pin. And then these four pins from here to here will connect to the four pins coming out of that header. The next change is to bring these four pins from this four pin header down to the four pin header that we're actually going to plug in the real time clock. So there's two wires right 
there's two wires right here for SDA and SCL, you know, data and clock from the serial port. And then over here are the closest VCC and VSS connections. There, there's no reason to bring them all the way up to here when there's other VCC and VSS wires really close by. One disadvantage of this new board is it's gigantic. Uh, when you compare it to the size of the original module, um, this new board is maybe three times as big in one dimension. And with the added heat sink, it's maybe one and a half times the thickness. So I had to design a new base for the clock and only a, you know, a couple other components, but basically most of the design works the same as what was in the original design. The algorithm was modified to use this 8-pin header over here to add the little shorting jumper blocks to change the direction. And you can see if I add or remove this one jumper on the end, the motor will reverse directions. It will also change speed. And it does this every second or every second the algorithm ch reads these jumpers and decides if it needs to adjust the speed or not. Uh, what this is used for is I can design multiple clocks with different different gear ratios between the second hand gear and the motor pinion would require the motor to run at different speeds so that the second hand is always running at once per minute. And so by adding or removing the the jumpers, uh, one algorithm will support multiple clock designs uh, without having to reprogram the Arduino Nano. Another small change that is needed on a couple of clocks is I've, I've tested maybe a half a dozen different stepper motors. Most of them plug directly into the TMC2208 with a straight cable. Uh, the wires coming out of here, one, two, three, four, plug into the motor with one, three, four, six. Yeah, so there's some unused pins on this connector. But a couple of motors have one, four, three, six. So the middle two wires are reversed. What I do in that case is put a small pin into the tab holding these wires. And then you can pull out the center two wires from the from one end of the stepper motor cable and then cross over the middle two wires up, and then plug them back in And you can, you can see on this motor, or you can see on this cable, that the one end is black, green, blue, red. At the other end is black, blue, green, red. So the middle two wires are switched, and that lets this cable work on the other type of stepper motor. I've found about 25 or 30 percent of the motors that I have require this small change. No soldering required. Uh, it's easy to make the change. So I just keep a couple of straight cables and a couple of crossover cables and use whichever one is, is needed. I'll show what happens. This motor uh, uses a straight cable. If I plug in the crossover cable, I mean, of course, you could check with the ohm meter, but when I plug in the crossover cable and I'm doing this with power.
power removed. Uh, I'm not sure if that's required, but it's always safe. This motor is just jumping back and forth. It's not really rotating, but I can tell that there is some kind of power applied. That's telling me that I need the crossover cable, or actually, that's telling me, in this case, that I don't want the crossover cable. I want the straight cable. So by adding back in the, the straight cable, now this motor is spinning smoothly. And I can feel it very, very smooth. I can still overpower the stepper motor with minimal force. That's telling me that this should work great in this clock. The first time I test this clock, I'm going to run the the motor power out the side and that allows me to adjust the jumpers, the direction, and you know it lets me adjust anything that might be needed to get this clock running. Oops, I'm plugging everything together and now it, the clock is just jumping back and forth but not rotating <laughs> and that turns out to be the wrong cable uh, looks like i'm using a straight cable and i need to switch to a crossover cable and now the clock is running smoothly um, but i can test things like the direction of the second hand. Uh, you can make the clock run backwards, pull out that jumper, and then it runs normal again. And then the speed jumpers, you can see this is just kind of a debug mode, running really super fast. So with this new motor controller, this clock is now running significantly quieter. There was a small amount of humming, especially on this wooden desk. This wooden desk amplifies all kinds of clock noise. Uh, the other great thing is I've previously designed a larger version of this clock and never released it because the, the gear humming was just too much in this larger format clock. But with this new motor controller, I'm going to release the larger design. I'll be releasing this design soon. The, the modified files and instructions on how to get this to work with the CNC Shield V4 will be added to the design on my, my mini factory. So if you've already purchased this clock, you can just download the, the updates and print out the new base and have a quieter running clock. Um, possibly in the future, I'll even release this design in wood. Wood gears just have a different look. Uh, probably even a slightly larger version of the clock in wood. Uh, still working out some of the details on that. This new clock driver module improves five things on the existing design. For one, it's really quiet thanks to the TMC 2208, and it's super accurate thanks to the precision real-time clock. And it doesn't use a custom circuit board thanks to the CNC Shield V4, also, the TMC2208 runs almost any stepper motor that's out there. And the calibration routine is simple because the Arduino works with the real-time clock to automatically calibrate. So this design becomes my quietest and most accurate clock all by changing to this new stepper motor driver circuit. If you already have the small version of the clock, you can download the, the newer components and that will support the CNC Shield V4. Coming soon will be the large version of the clock and that will also support the, the new design and it will be a quiet running clock and super accurate, nothing to wind. It just runs amazingly quiet. So check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and both of these will be on my mini factory soon. Thank you.